Okay, in our last video we um, added some UI components to the mix and it's get ready player one and then we, we you know move there and then when you die it says get ready wave one again um, we kind of we want to have like a pause maybe play some kind of music or whatever in there uh, and wait for for things to happen so um, let's go back into the game controller here so we have our start game here so we have our reset level and then we have our coroutine which is start the game maybe what we want to do is we want to have a coroutine called restart the game uh, and restart the game uh, does just exactly that but it also gives us a little bit of a chance to, to uh, put some other messages up there I enumerator um, restart the game um, and then to do um, put something a little better in here uh, and then all we're going to do is we're going to do yield return new uh, wait for seconds and we're going to wait for two seconds and then we're going to do yield return um, actually can we do yeah I think we do yield return start the game uh, and so what this is going to do is going to wait for two seconds and then it's going to display the the um, Uh, it's going to display the the message. So I'll get ready, player one. Um, move this here. Boom. Two seconds. Get ready, wave one. Okay, that's a lot better actually. It doesn't clear it straight away. It still hovers there, so you can see things, see what's happened. We'll play a little. Bah, 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 bah music thing um, and boom okay I think that works um, so we'll play it you know play a tune or whatever okay so play a tune or whatever um, and now uh, I want to put in lives in this video that's the sort of main um, point of uh, of this video uh, remind me tomorrow so I have um, I have these objects here so um, where's my rocket there we go um, so I have this rocket upright here so I'm going to duplicate that twice and um, I am going to create a a new blank object and I'm just going to call this lives and lives is going to have the same transform as this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little trick uh, I think I showed this before but what you do is you, you right click uh, on here, I think it's just the header, I don't think it's anywhere else, you just right click on the header and choose copy component and then I'm going to select my new object here and then I'm going to do the same thing again, I'm going to right click and then this time I'm going to choose paste component values so right now it's you know this weird values here so I'm just going to do paste component values and you see that we now have the same as that. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to drag this up to here and rocket upright uh, is just going to be lives 3 and then I'm going to have lives 1 which is going to um, be further up the screen to what? Uh, 0? No? Minus 1? Uh, 0 0.75 is that good enough? yeah 0 0.75 that sounds good enough and I'll call that lives 2 and then lives 1 uh, will be at position 0 0.25 
and I think that's about right there. And that's our lives. Okay. So we got lives two. No. Um, and so on. So I have lives there, so I'm going to drag in lives one to make that a child, lives two, and lives three. Okay, just to create like a folder uh, where we can store these things. And then I'm going to have another script here which is our lives controller. Okay, so our lives controller, um, I'm going to create another script here. I'm going to call that lives controller. Uh, and lives controller is just going to be super duper simple. Again, this is, um, I, I find making, um, a lot of people will put this in, in separate scripts. I find making uh, sorry, uh, in the same script, and you could easily put all this inside the game controller script. I find it a lot easier having all these little con little controllers kicking around, and then you have like a main game controller. A lot easier to work with. Um, your mileage may vary. If you want to put everything in game controller, feel free. But I I think this is a, a better way of doing it, and it fits in with a kind of solid principle. Excuse me. Uh, fits in with a solid principle of of you know keeping keeping things separate and having single responsibility classes. So uh, that, that's why I like this. So I'm going to do public game object uh, and these are going to be lives. Then I'm going to public um, void um, um, set lives, uh, update lives, and then I'm going to specify the number of lives that we have. And then our lives that we have, I think I did this backwards actually, that should be lives one. <laughs> um, so we have one life left and we should use that one. Um, and so that one becomes life three. Okay. Um, okay, so for int i equals zero, i less than lives dot length. Oh, so a number of lives left, or let's call that lives left. I plus plus. So if I is less than the number of lives left, then we're going to set that object to be active. So I'm going to do um, uh, lives i dot set active, and then it's going to be i less than lives left. So if I have no lives left, then this is not going to work. It's just not going to show anything. Okay. So I don't need any of that. Don't need that. And then I'm going to add my lives controller to here. And then I'm going to add my lives here. So my lives are going to be dragged in one at a time. So I'm going to do lives one, lives two, and lives three. Okay, so these are zero, one, and two. So if I have three lives left, then all of these will show. So just by default, I'm going to turn every one of these off. Okay, so we're not going to have any lives left. So when we run this right now, there's no lives there. Okay, so we have no lives. At least we have no indication of lives. Now in my game controller, I'm going to add another list in my controller, another controller here. Uh, I'll just call this lives. And uh, actually, it's got to be a lives controller. And then I need to have uh, the number of lives. So I need to have int um, num lives equals three. So I have my number of lives. And then in my start round, um, 
I'm going to start the game and I want to set up the number of lives. So I'm going to do lives controller dot, uh, what do I call it, lives, update lives, uh, num lives. So now when I run it, uh, we should see three lives there. And we get a null reference because I forgot to drag and drop these things across again. Because I'm what? An idiot. There we go. Alright. There we go. So we've got our three lives here. And boom. Okay. So um, we're going to have to subtract the number of lives every time you get a collision. So if you get a collision, we're going to reset the level. So reset the level is the one that should do it. So we're going to do uh, num lives minus minus. So this is our to do check for lives left. Okay, if uh, num lives equals zero, to do game over man, game over. Okay. Then. Um, all right, and then running it, we should fingers crossed get ready with one. I might move up that text because I don't like the fact it's down down the bottom there. Oh no! Oh oh, we've lost a life. Okay, and we've lost another life. Yep. Okay, we've only got one rocket left. Alright, here's our rocket. So we've got no rockets left. And then we'll have an index out of range here. Oh no, that's right. We're not. It's okay. So we're not going to have an index out of range because of the way that this has been written. It says if lives left is less than that, then we'll, we'll, we set this value here. So it can't be less than that because it's going to be minus one, minus two, and so on. Okay. So that is our um, our lives. So when we get to zero, um, we need to end the game. And so for that, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to fix this just now. So we have our uh, start round canvas thing. So I'm going to move uh, this up a little bit. So in order to do that, I'm going to bring this uh, down to there. Why is that not? And I'll bring this up a little bit. Okay, just a teeny tiny little bit, uh, just to make it uh, just fit above there, because it was just I don't know, it was just bugging me. <laughs> uh, it was it was on the wrong level. There you go. That's just above there. That's fine. Okay, that works. And now what I want to do is I want to have a game over canvas. Game over canvas, and I don't want any text in there, and I certainly don't want this start round, so I'm going to remove that component there. I do want the canvas group, I don't want it to be interactable, uh, and I don't want it to block raycasts. In fact, I don't want this one to block raycasts either. And then wave number is not wave number anymore, it's game over text. And it's going to say game over. And similarly, it is in the middle, which is right. And that is correct. Okay. And why you no show? 
going up because the canvas is alpha zero. There you go, that's why. Our canvas text. There you go. Bang, slap, right in the middle of the game. Okay. So our game over is going to display. So the game over canvas. Um, uh, I'm just going to do this in, in, in line in here. We might tidy it up later on. I keep saying that. It's like... It's never gonna happen, but I can I can live with it sometimes. Uh, canvas, can, oops, canvas control, uh, canvas group, game over. So we're gonna have this game over canvas group, and then the game over is gonna be there, else uh, reset. So game over. So what I want to do is I want to kind of restart the game, but I don't want to I don't want to restart the game. So I want to clear the board. Um, I just want to clear the board. I think that's all I want to do. So I want to clear the board, and then I want to do game over dot alpha equals one. Um, yield return new weight for uh, four seconds uh, to do um, load game. Oh, except I can't do that because I need to do that as a coroutine. So I need to do this all as a coroutine. So I'm going to cut that and I'm going to do start coroutine game over. And then my coroutine here is going to be I enumerator game over and then that's it and that should be fine okay so when we get to zero lives it's going to display game over and then it will uh, at some point load the main menu because we're going to finish this game off and we're going to do we're going to put it into the app store and I'll show you how to put it into the app store and get keys and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I did it once before. It was a long, long time ago. So hopefully it hasn't changed. So that's me dead. And I'm dead again. Oh, there you go. Game over controller has not been announced. Okay, so game over controller needs to be put in there. Um, so if I have three lives left, I want to. Uh, let me see where I die. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the guy okay, here. So. Uh, yeah, so in the store, we'll get the, the store all set up and put this up on the app store. Um, I'll show you the, the sort of going about the, how the website works and everything and, and uh, putting the, the, uh, the, the game up there, creating the APK, all that kind of stuff. So I have one ship left. Okay, so and you know what? I don't... Yeah, we need to stop everything. Okay. All right. So game controller. Uh, update lays clear. Um, so I need to reset the pianola reset. So I need to call that as well. So really, I need to do this for both things. And I'm going to change that to minus one, because I actually want you to have zero lives left. Like, you, you don't see any lives left, so that's like your last ship. Uh, so I'm going to change that to minus one. And then, what else? 
else do we need to do? I think that's okay. So we need to reset the pianola. Um, and then that's going to stop the pianola from running so it won't display in the background. Okay, so we'll compile this. And so uh, it will stop the game from running. Um, we'll also need to do that as well. So when you um, put this game in the background, we need to put it to sleep. So we need to remember the state. So we'll need to figure some way how, how to do that. Uh, and then similarly, when we wake it up, we need to remember how to, to, to wake it up as well. So there's still a bit of work to do. I mean, even, even in such a small, simple game, you think that, that this is going to be easy. And then you realize that there's actually quite a lot of, um, sort of nuanced parts to, to fixing it up. Okay, so that's game over, and then hopefully nothing else will start. It will just stay like this because um, we haven't done anything to it. And uh, I think not only is it game over for this one, this is a uh, game over for the video as well. Um, but we'll continue this uh, uh, later on. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.